Autodesk Fusion 360 does not currently have a method of making a broken view in a 2D drawing. We hope this is going to come in the future, but in the meantime, I would like to show you my workaround. The process begins by making a new assembly using the derive command located on the create. You will be creating a new design and you would like to just obtain only bodies. You can do this by picking select and going down to selection filters and picking on bodies only. So you can take all off and just turn on bodies. I have a shortcut which helps me to do it very quickly. What you want to do next is put a window around everything in your design. And then you want to check to be sure it's only bodies that you have captured. And hit OK. You are now in a new assembly which is nothing but the bodies that you just derived in. In this new derived assembly, the first thing you want to do is get your orientation and view correctly and set up your view cube. I set my top up to be this, which is going to be for the drawing. And I set my home to this. The next thing you want to do is go down into the timeline, right click, and you want to break the link from all the bodies at one time. Say OK if you have that warning come up. And you now have nothing but component bodies. These are base feature bodies. So this draw needs to be saved as a special one just for this process. So I'm going to go up under save and I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it derive assembly for broken view. Okay. Now you've got that done. You're ready for the next step. My next step is only required if you want to make a view in your broken view drawing of this model in its complete state. If you don't, you can skip this step and move on to one I'll mention in a second. But if you do want a view of just the complete assembly, you need to do this step. You want to select all the bodies. You can do this with a shift key and select all bodies. You then want to right click and move copy and you want to hit create copy. You then want to move this off to some place in your assembly that is not in the way of anything else and say OK. The next step is to consolidate all these bodies into one or at least as few as possible. To do that I'll use the combine command. My target body I've chosen, which is the one that gets to be in the middle, is this tube. I'll then put a window around everything to combine it with that with a join. Say OK. The new solid body is up top, as you can see. My next step is to create a couple of sketches across the body that will serve as my brake lines. These can vary in style. Some people like a rashy look. Some people like a smooth, like a fit point spline, which I'm going to use. So I right click on plane and I'm going to create a new sketch. I'm going to look at that sketch directly and I'm going to sketch my fit point spline across the two positions. The part in the center will be broken and taken out. I'll pause while I do this. So I've drawn two fit point splines to serve as my body uh, breaking planes. So I'm going to be removing the center. So I'm going to go and finish my sketch, go back to isometric, and I'm going to go up to modify split body. My body is this one, which is the overall I just made by combining. My split uh, tools are the two paw lines that I just made. And extending them is not necessary if you got to be sure your paw lines went through them. But to be sure, I'm going to say OK. Once I hit OK, I then have a whole bunch more bodies inside my... And you'll see them down here. There's the one I want to get rid of. So I'm going to right-click, uh, left-click on the invisibility and get rid of that. 
And also this one I need to get rid of, so I get rid of that. So I have my split body, and I've turned them off as far as visibility. My next step is to move one of these bodies toward the other to a reasonable distance from my break view. So I'm going to go to my cube, and I'm going to go to the top view, and I'm going to rotate it around and make this vertical. As long as you've got a vertical or horizontal, it doesn't matter. I just chose vertical. I pick my move command. I put a window around everything. I'm going to use a crossing window to be sure I get it. And I'm going to move it straight down with the arrow until I get my break distance and say OK. As you can see now, this is what I'm going to be doing to my drawing. My break distance is up to you. At this point, you need to save. I'll save that. And now you need to turn off the visibility of the other assembly so that you're getting ready to make the drawing. So what you can do is just use a window around everything and right click and say show hide. That gets rid of everything over there and you only have this visible. Next thing you do is go up under design if you want. Create drawing from design. My drawing will be ANSI. I'm going to put it on a C-size sheet to have a little bit of room. Say OK. The view that comes in is OK. I think I'm going to go to top view and I'm going to make the scale 1 to 2. That should be good enough. I'll place my view. Oh, I do want tangent edges and interference edges showing. So I click and place my view. Next thing I want to do is I want to make a projected view of this. There will be some occasions you might want to do a section view through this. So let's do a section view. Section, view. I'm going to hover over the port since I know it's centered. Get my line, pick, go straight across, pick, and continue. I'm going to put my view right down here and say OK. So there's my section view from my broken view. I now need to return back to the assembly to pick up my full view isometric I'm going to put over here of the cylinder. In this view I will then go in here and turn all the ones that are turned off currently back on, make them visible, and I'm going to go ahead and do these just two manually. I'm not worried about this anymore, I want to use this one. So what I want to do is come down here and put a window around this and make these all invisible. So now I only see this. Go to design, drawing from design, and I want to do visible only. Because these are only visible, it will only pick up these. I don't want a new drawing, I want to use the existing one. And I want to put it on the same sheet. Say OK. It says it's not up to date, so I'll update it. And it will go ahead and come in. I'm going to go to my home view and see what size fits. I think a 1 to 2 would be a little too large. Yes. So I think I'll do a 1 to 3, which is not a really a good scale, but just for this demo. I'll do that. I want to see all edges and all interferences and place it. So there you have the complete view and your broken view with a broken view section. I hope this helps you make better drawings in Fusion 360 until they come out with a broken view command. Thank you for watching.